All right, so here I'm going to go over real quickly how to go from SketchUp into MakerBot so you can 3D print your rocket you have. So your rocket should look, should look something like this. Uh, it can be, design can be a little bit different however you want it to be, but you have your nose cone, you have the body, and you have the tail fins right here. So what you need to do is you're going to be separating out your nose cone and your tail fins. So a good idea is to do a file save as and you can make a new file um, put it somewhere where you know it'll be so I'm going to say nose cone if I can type alright so now I've got my nose cone sketch up so now I want to delete everything that isn't my nose cone so I have just this piece right here that I want to 3D print to 3D print you're going to need to make it an object file that's a 3D modeling file that the 3D printers can read. So you're going to go to File, Export a 3D Model, and you're going to this Save Type As, you're going to drop that down to a .obj file. So again, save it somewhere where you know it will be, and then you're going to hit Export. All right, and it says, OK, it worked correctly. Hit OK. So now I can save that if I want to just have my nose cone. Now if I go back to my earlier piece, we're going to do the same thing. File, save as, save it as my tail. And I can delete everything that isn't my tail. File, same thing, export, 3D model, OBJ file, tail, export. All right, so now I have my two files. Now I want to open up MakerBot on the computer, so go to Start menu, type in MakerBot, it should be the MakerBot desktop, and open that one up. Very first time you open it, it may ask you to sign in, uh, it may ask you to create an account, don't worry about that, just go up here to the top, hit Prepare, and that will bring you to this screen. Second thing is you want to make sure, first time you open it, you want to make sure the 3D printer that it's set to is something that we have. So if you go to devices, select type of device, here's different models that MakerBot makes. So for our instance, we're going to go for the 2X. I'm going to change our settings because it will default to ABS plastic. But remember, ABS makes the fumes, and we don't want to use that. We want to use PLA. Use PLA plastic for the right extruder. Change our right extruder to 220, 220 degrees Celsius. Change our left to zero degrees because we're not using that. And change our platform to 80 degrees Celsius. And that just the machines we have that just works the best for there. All right, so now we have our 3D printer set up. We want to go to Add File, and we want to find those two pieces that we made, the nose cone and the tail. So let's open up the nose cone and we put it in there. If we look around, we can see it's laying on its side. We want it standing straight up. So you can use this rotate button, figure out how it needs to be. And you see how it's laying f below the plate. That's no good, so we want to hit the lay flat. We can use this arrow tool to move it around if we want it to. And we're going to do the same thing. Add file, tail, open. And we can go to preview. This is what it's going to look like. If I look up at the top, it's going to give me an estimate of how long it's going to take. I have a scroll bar here. I can look through to see exactly layer by layer what it's going to look like. And when I'm ready to go, I hit export. This is where you'll take the USB and the SD card reader. You'll go to the computer, and there will be a removable disk, and that's where you will save it to. And it will be change this to your name rocket.x3g and go ahead and hit save when you have that on the removable disk 
From there you'll take the SD card, put it into the 3D printer, and you will 3D print.